Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. So today here we have this Camaro. Uh, this Camaro's in for some carbon fiber. We're gonna be doing some aftermarket installs on it. We're gonna be installing a Anderson composite aftermarket carbon fiber hood. Uh, the hood has a big giant scoop in the middle, kind of like the ZL1, so it's pretty aggressive hood. It's currently in the box right here. We're gonna open it all up right now. And we're also gonna be installing a carbon fiber trunk with a duckbill spoiler. Um, so we're gonna be removing all this stuff, removing all this stock trunk, uh, hood, and we're also gonna be unwrapping the roof because the customer wants to get rid of this uh, satin roof just to make the carbon fiber all tight together. Maybe in the future he's gonna be going with the carbon fiber wrap depending on how he feels, but he does have some more carbon fiber parts coming in, like a diffuser, a front lip, all that stuff. Um, this car is Whipple supercharged. He just installed a Whipple supercharger on there. So this thing's a beast. Uh, this is an SS1LE, I believe. And yeah, he pretty much has a Whipple supercharger on there making a lot of power. And uh, now he's gonna go for some aesthetic looks and he's gonna be doing some carbon fiber. We are gonna, also gonna be doing the quick latches on the hood. Um, those are the round ones there. I think they're like three, four inch, uh, which we have over here and all that. We're gonna be opening everything up right now. And he's also gonna be doing a heat shield for underneath the hood. And these are the quick latches here. So these are the ones we're gonna be installing on his hood to go ahead and hold all that down. <clears throat> uh, you definitely wanna do quick latches on hoods uh, because they are a lot lighter and um, you do run a risk of them going up or folding or something like that with the wind. So you wanna make sure you secure them down just because they are much lighter than the stock hoods. You wanna make sure you get these installed for safety and you're gonna watch us install all this on this car. And yeah, we're gonna take this car to the next level. This car's gonna look pretty badass. This is what you see right now, but it's gonna look completely different in a little bit. All right, guys, there it is. So we removed his other spoiler with that wicker bill installed. We also removed these two side pieces that were here. They did have 3M tape and there was a little bit of color difference. And Manny's uh, buffing it out right now to go ahead and give it some shine, make sure everything's matching evenly. Here he did this side looks just like new. So, you know, everything's looking pretty well. We're gonna go ahead and install the other carbon fiber spoiler right now. We have it here in the box. So this is what the spoiler looks like. It's a super aggressive duck bill, really nice design, nice shape to it. It's really gonna look nice on the car and really pick it up, tie, tie it all together with the carbon fiber hood that's going on there but yeah check it out this thing's amazing super aggressive uh really really nice and clean design uh we also we're also going to be installing the third brake light on here which is in this box over here so we have it in here so guys here's the third brake light um not sure exactly why there's an on and off switch on this thing but there is i need to look at the instructions and figure out what it is for but um, yeah, pretty much they give you a new third brake light so you can go ahead and get this on the car. It just pops right into place and it has these retainers that'll hold the third brake light into place. Plug it into the OEM plug and then um, I still need to figure out what this switch is for. Or maybe just to disable it whenever you don't want it or something like that. But uh, yeah, we're going to go ahead and get this all installed. To remove the trunk, you pretty much have to remove all the electrical. You got to remove this uh, panel from the inside of the trunk. Uh, there's a lot of these clips that are holding it into place. Then you have these twist off uh, little supports that touch down in the bottom. Um, two of these. And then you have this one center cap where the uh, latch is. And it has these two pins on the sides that you can see there that you have to remove. Um, and after that you have to remove the electrical wiring and the emergency connection and the latch. You gotta remove all this stuff. Uh, there's two bolts on here. This is clipped in, and then there's a bunch of clips following the wire along the uh, side, pretty much just tucking everything, and then the uh, third brake light plug right there. And uh, then you remove four 10 millimeter screws from each side, two on each side, four total, and the trunk comes off. We're gonna go ahead and start installing the new one and see what needs to be swapped over.
So we ran into a little issue. Um, it turns out these holes on the trunk for the latch don't line up. Uh, so as you can see that one is on there and this one's pretty off. Doesn't even line up, has to go a little more to the right. So we're gonna go ahead and drill this uh, latch a little bit so that it has some movement on it. Um, we actually have to make sure that it lines up underneath too. So that's another thing we gotta pay attention to, make sure um, what side is not lining up in what way. So we need to uh, mess with it right now and uh, get this figured out. So as you guys can see here, the latch has these two guides that pretty much slide into place right here. And then it slides over to the side and that kind of holds it in place. And when all that's lined up, to begin with, the holes aren't even um, spaced out. So pretty, they're a little bit off. But these two guides are what will kind of show you where to put the latch. Um, but yeah, we already marked the latch as you can see right there. And that one, and we're gonna go ahead and drill those out and uh, yeah, make sure everything fits perfect. All right guys, so there it is. Uh, we got everything drilled out nicely. Uh, washers uh, block up the holes that we had to do, so it still looks really clean. Everything closes up the way it's supposed to. Um, as you can see right, make sure that as you can see right there um, you can feel the the shocks fighting you a lot more and, and it's not just closing on its own uh, but yeah that's really cool you save a lot of weight everything everything lines up well we're gonna go ahead and close it again all right as you can see right there it looks really nice super aggressive really like the uh, duck bill look and then with this tail lights he added he has the tail lights on it um, and yeah, they're all white. Yeah, check it out. Everything looks really nice, lines up nicely, closes. Um, we pretty much just have to install the third brake light right now and everything underneath on the inside of the trunk. And it's done. But yeah, there's this. We're gonna go ahead and get started on uh, just tying everything up down here. The trunk is all installed. And damn, this thing looks super aggressive. Got the third brake light in, everything is working. Uh, we just have to wipe the whole car down, but just showing you guys everything. Um, we had to just drill these holes out uh, for the clips. Had to drill the holes for the emergency latch. And then, um, yeah, everything lines up nicely. Everything closes. As you can see, it is a lot lighter than the uh, OEM trunk, so you do get a little more fight back from the, uh, the little struts. Um, but yeah, check it out. You got to close it. Close nicely. Fitment's pretty good. See right here. I'm not sure this hat's supposed to be a little shorter on both corners. That's just how it is. Um, um, but yeah, so yeah, if you guys like this spoiler, uh, go ahead and check it out. It's made by Anderson Composites. Um, and yeah, the rear end of this Camaro is looking really sick. Manny's are finishing up the uh, roof wrap. We're gonna go ahead and remove the antenna so we can unwrap the antenna. It is plastic dip, so we're gonna have to get all that off. So got a little bit more in the front to go. And then uh, we're going to be removing the hood right now. You can see it's whip and supercharged. Where you got the struts off. Um, but yeah, we're going to be removing this hood and then installing the uh, quick latches in the front to go ahead and secure it. Other than that, the car's pretty much done. We're probably going to be doing a clear bra on this trunk and on the hood. So that's something that the customer might have to come back for. But other than that, everything is going pretty well. Can't wait to see how the uh, front end looks with the hood. This is the hood that we're going to be installing really badass hood it's full carbon fiber um it's got that zl1 scoop in the front zl1 style and yeah it's gonna look really nice we're gonna go ahead and get started on this and then finish up this car guys check it out we got the carbon fiber hood installed uh everything fit really really well um the only thing i could see is that this side of the hood is missing a little bit as you could see there but we are going to be installing the quick latches which is going to hold it down um this side is pretty perfect it's flush we did just have to adjust a little bit make sure all the gap was even on both sides but yeah everything fits really good on this hood check it out super aggressive and it, it's like it's that zl1 style hood and it has that cow in the center he does have a whipple supercharger um which works perfectly and then he'll be able to extract some heat from this uh functional heat extractor that he has and yeah this will definitely help him out with keeping his engine cool and yeah he still has a few more pieces coming in, like the diffuser and I believe the front lip coming in in carbon fiber. Um, but yeah, this car is looking pretty aggressive. 
Uh, it's got the speed and the looks. So a pretty good, well around look. I can't wait to see what else he does to the build. Right now we're gonna go ahead and start the quick latches. Um, we're gonna be mounting them, as you can see, it's these here. We're gonna be putting these somewhere along this line here. And um, we're just gonna follow the uh, core support and uh, bolt them down to that and make sure everything fits flush and all that stuff. But yeah, we're gonna go ahead and get started on that and then uh, finish up this car.